Good morning. Uh, it's come on then. Oh, Beck wants to say hello. Yeah. So good morning. Uh, it feels like it's been a while since I filmed a video because I took the weekend off. That's to say, often filming videos, not often doing jobs. Um, just got back from milking, and I haven't got much time before I've got to go out to my next job. Um, so it's about just after ten o'clock now. Um, I need to be thinking about getting ready for the next job come 12 o'clock uh, and then I will be working until half past eight in the evening. Uh, Wednesdays can be a busy one for me. Uh, so I have got a few jobs to do in the kitchen before I go outside uh, where I spotted that the butterflies have got into my brassica cage so I need to pick some caterpillars off some cabbages um, and I've got a compost heap that needs turning. Uh, but meanwhile in here I want to make a batch of muffins, I need to mix breakfast, uh, and I dehydrated some courgette and patty pan squash last night so that needs to go in jars. So I'll get cracking. So one other thing I forgot to mention that I wanted to, well I need to do, um, sorry if you can hear sizzling in the background, it's just my eggs cooking and the dogs are barking because the dogs have been in the dogs. Um, last night I canned some more potatoes, ordinarily I wouldn't can potatoes, it's just I have a sack of potatoes and they're all sprouting, hang on, yeah so they're all starting to look like that and they're also not going to last forever. So. I read that you could can potatoes ready for making chips with, um, so I canned a batch the other day. Um, Bex, do you have to do that in here? Come on, take it down, take it down. Sorry, playing with the bone. Um, sorry, the eggs needed stirring. Um, yeah, so I canned uh, potatoes as chips and then I can just empty the water out, dry them off and throw them in the fryer and I have chips. Uh, the last batch I did, I did seven jars again like this, two of them didn't seal. This was last night's batch which is also, if you can see there, is crinkle cut. Um, and I'll find out how many of them are sealed and then write the dates on them and pop them in the cupboard. all seven of them sealed this time which is excellent. Uh, yeah so now I just need to eat my eggs and see how long is left on the muffins and then I will see you outside.
Right, so I am now in the Brassica Tunnel, and as you can see, there's a nice row of Romanesco cauliflowers, and there's one that's been decimated by caterpillars. Um, and there's a few other twiggy looking things around. Um, so what I'm going to do is start at one end, weeding and picking off caterpillars as I go, and hopefully get on top of it before it's too much of a problem. Right, so I now have a bucket of caterpillars and a bucket of chicken snacks. Uh, the chicken snacks will go in the chicken van, and the caterpillars will go on one of my fresher compost heaps um, with a few of the cabbage leaves that I've thrown in there with them. Right, and then this is the final job that I need to get done today. Um, under that sheet is my compost pile. Um, if you recall, it used to be in that ring. It had its first turn two days ago, and it's now due its second turn, so I'll get going with that. me the jobs I wanted to get done are done and um, I have 10 minutes to spare before I need to think about getting ready for work and um, so I am going to have a muffin drink a cup of tea and do some more knitting from work this evening and I thought I was done um, and then I remembered my stock. Uh, last night when I was canning I was also boiling down some stock from some lamb and pork bones I picked up at work um, and I added to it the stock from a uh, shoulder that I roasted at the weekend. I need to can it because I know I'm not going to have time tomorrow to do it. I didn't do it earlier today because I knew again I wouldn't have time to fit it all in. Um, so what I will do is I'll heat it back up in this pan and at the same time I will be heating up the canner and the jars and then I'll add it all together hot and then it will go in the pressure canner and be sealed up 
um, and in the cupboard ready for when I when I need it. Um, so yeah, one last job, um, and I'll get going with that. Right, so that is the jars in there. Um, I'm going to leave that to vent and then I will, once it reaches pressure, we'll time it. Um, and then once the pressure canning is done, I'll let the pressure canner drop back down to pressure, then leave the jars for a further 10 minutes or so, and then I'll take them out, I guess. Um, and then, yeah, that's me done for the night then. Um, but in the meantime, I shall sit and do some knitting whilst I'm keeping an eye, an eye on the pressure can. So it be good in Yeah. Right. So it's now 10 to 11. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Uh, the stock is now at the point I can take it out of the canner. Um, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to pop it on this towel and leave it on the side until morning when I can then remove the, the bands and see what's sealed. There you go, and with that I shall say goodnight to you.